Yu Yu Hakusho means a lot to various different people, for obvious reasons. In North America and Japan, it was a contemporary of Dragon Ball, running on Shonen Jump and airing on network television alongside it. They have been compared often, and realistically, it's easy to see why. They share similar themes and ideas, and are both Shonen battle manga. If you liked one, you probably liked the other. Yoshihiro Togashi is the acclaimed mangaka of the series, remembered today for Yu Yu Hakusho and Hunter x Hunter, and for being married to the author of Sailor Moon, Naoko Takeuchi. Yep, it's that kind of creativity in this bunch. Yu Yu Hakusho ran on Weekly Shonen Jump from December 1990 to July 1994, and broadcast from October 1992 to December 1994. So today, I'll be taking a look at how many episodes of Yu Yu Hakusho are filler, and the best way to watch the series as close to the original manga vision as possible. So with that, let's get looking at how to watch Yu Yu Hakusho and skip filler. The first saga is the Spirit Detective Saga. It spans everything from the introduction of the series and Yusuke's death to training with Genkai. It spans episodes 1 to 25 and adapts chapters 1 to 51 of the manga. There are no filler episodes in this saga. However, there are about 10 chapters of the manga that aren't adapted in the anime. They are chapters 46, 8 through 12, and 15 and 16. Having perused these chapters, they happen to be very episodic stuff in the early part of the manga, before Yusuke even gets his body back and don't add too much to the overall story, and for whatever reason, Studio Pierrot decided not to adapt them in the TV adaptation. Next up is the much-loved Dark Tournament Saga, which covers everything from the start of the tournament to the defeat of Toguro. It spans episodes 26 to 66 and covers chapters 52 to 112. There are no filler episodes in this batch either. The Chapter Black Saga is, in my opinion, a very underrated saga of Yu Yu Hakusho. It features the previous spirit detective exacting revenge on humanity for being a flawed species, and his quest to annihilate humanity after becoming radicalized by an anti-human video titled Chapter Black, which features the worst atrocities humanity has ever conducted in one long video. It spans episodes 67 to 94, and chapters 113 to 153 of the manga. This arc also contains no filler episodes. And the final saga in the original anime is the Three Kings Saga. This is the arc that culminates in a second tournament to decide who the ruler of Demon World will be. It spans episodes 95 to 112 and chapters 154 to 175. Episodes 107 to 109 are technically filler as they feature material not found in the manga, namely Hiei and Kurama's fights in the tournament. It does technically fall under the umbrella of expanded content as Studio Perot wanted fans to see some of the main characters outside of Yusuke have their final battles. It's fun stuff, but not essential viewing material if you're matching the manga's pace. This saga also, just like the first, skips a few chapters. Chapters 171, 173, and 174 are skipped in the anime adaptation. They are post-tournament slice-of-life stuff that leads to the conclusion of the series. Of note is that episode 111 is generally listed as a filler episode on most filler guides, but it actually isn't. It's an expanded version of parts of chapter 170 and 172. The rest of those chapters and chapter 175 make up the final episode, being 112. Keep that in mind when consulting online filler guides, as they can be erroneous. There are also two Yu Yu Hakusho films, The Golden Seal and The Poltergeist Report. Both of these films are filler material, despite being fun forays into what makes the series great. A fun fact of these two films is that they were actually dubbed by Anime Works, also known as Media Blasters, and US Manga Corps, also known as Central Park Media, respectively, before Funimation even picked up the series. That's a wild piece of anime history, as both of these anime licensing companies aren't really around much in the conventional way. Then the OVAs, commonly referred to as Eizo Hakusho, are also filler and should be skipped. However, new OVAs, called Two Shots and All or Nothing, were released in 2018. These are canon OVAs that adapt manga material not seen in the 90s anime. So at a final report card, we see that the series originally contained 112 episodes that adapted 175 chapters of manga. But seeing as how 3 of these episodes are technically filler and 13 manga chapters are skipped, the final count is more like 109 episodes to 162 chapters. Despite episodes 107 through 109 being filler, I would still say watch them. This is one of those rare examples where the anime is filling in holes in the manga versus bloating the anime to an unwatchable degree. 
and truth be told, Yu Yu Hakusho is the better show for it. Yoshihiro Togashi is just on another level when it comes to manga writing, and the fact that he created two well-remembered manga, Yu Yu Hakusho and Hunter x Hunter, is a testament to that. Yes, I am aware that level E is also a thing, but we don't have to talk about that.